next. The love story of Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward is Hollywood lore, and it's now being documented in a beautiful new book filled with pictures and stories. Head Over Heels captures the love affair between the two stars, and it was curated by their daughter, Melissa Newman. Melissa is in Seattle for an author event tonight at the Elliott Bay Book Company, but first, she's joining us here in studio, and I'm just so delighted. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. This is an incredible book. It is so beautiful. What do you think it is about your parents that is so timeless and iconic? I, th there's, I always say they're kind of like ripe for hipster, you know, reawakening <laughs> because they were political. Yeah. They were artistic collaborators. Mm -hmm. My mother ran a theater and cooked the breakfast and knew where we all were all the time and also was a movie star. And I mean, they just, if you name it, my dad was a race car driver. He was, um, you know, and they were both, um, you know, involved in the community. I mean, they just, they had it all going on. That's so. And they did it, and they looked pretty damn good. And they looked they, gorgeous yeah, while they, doing they, it. Kind of, yeah. They were good people <laughs> that were authentic. I yes. think that's the thing about. That's my favorite word. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel yeah. like I've always felt that about just seeing them from, from afar, because obviously I didn't know them, but I'm so glad that you're introducing them to us in yeah. a way that we would have never seen. And let's look at some of those pictures right now, because I just, <laughs> is that you? That is so me. Oh, it's your cutest. That is, that is the look that you give when you're sitting in your dad's lap and you have all the attention on you and you're <sighs> about eight. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was a series, there, were two, there mm -hmm. were two of them. There was a serious one and a goofy one. We could only choose one, so, I mean, come on, who would <sighs> choose that? Oh, this picture. This picture is called Women I Like to Sleep With. And the reason, I, I don't know what this show is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know this show okay. is all about it. You all tell right. us all. All right, okay, so if women I like to sleep with because my dad loved to put little plaques on things. He would buy paintings and make, put silly plaques on them. So he loved naming everything. And um, that little plaque on the bottom says women I like to sleep with. And I sure, I'm, you know, he gave it to my mother as a gift. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever heard. Um, he did, he was really smitten. <sighs> with her. I mean, he really, and it never ended. Uh, there's a quote in the yeah. book that I saw that I actually took a picture of because I wanted to post it on the social media webs because I want yeah. everyone to see it. It was a, a quote from your mom that said, you know, I, I, and I'll misquote it, but she says, oh. Paul is by far the better looking than me, but he always makes me feel like so sexy. Yeah. And I just was like, yeah. oh. Yeah, no, it's really, it's meant, it's, it's meant, it's the way that everyone should, should be. look at their Every woman partner. should be worshipped. Yes, yeah. absolutely, yes, everyone. Because, right. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, <laughs> all right. So, how how did this book come about? I mean, what did what did you decide to do this? Well, in my house, there are every wall is full of photographs. My father used to walk around with a mouthful of nails and a hammer and and make these <laughs> walls. I used the term layers of photographs, and someone said, "How can there be layers of photographs?" And I said, "In my house." And you would they would lean up against the wall, and then they would rotate you know but we have we have it's wallpapered with photographs so you know what I mean they just needed to be out in the world yeah. and then of course when you do a book like this and your parents and you realize that the photographs are taken by you know Philip Paulsman and Richard Avedon yeah. and uh, Bruce Davidson um, it's a very different book than I Im originally imagined I really thought, oh, just put photographs in a book and it's like no it's, it's really different you're dealing it's with it's really meaningful yeah it's really such a beautiful representation of love of family of important things that maybe everyone should learn for good you know lessons of life yeah, yeah. Um, but you were mentioning your home I get off track because I'm enjoying talking to you so much <laughs> um, you said you were talking about your house with all the pictures you live in the home you grew up in what what is it like and what was it like oh to grow gosh. up in that house uh, they bought the house in 1961 the year I was born and we moved there when my son who is now 27 was two and for 12 years my parents moved across the river to my grandmother's house and there was when you know after she had passed there was a footbridge most movie stars have you know a house and an apartment in Paris or whatever yeah. and my parents had two houses on either side of a river and they literally used to move back and forth and they would rent them out but we lived for 12 years back and forth babies barbecues Aww. they had a sandbox in front of their kitchen we had a sandbox in front of ours 
Uh, my son once ran out the door, he's like three, and I couldn't find him, and I call up and I say, this is Peter, and they said, oh yeah, he's making cookies over here. And you would think that That's somebody might have notified me. That, no, yeah, apparently not. Unattended toddler <laughs> walks in your door. Oh. Yeah. So, but it was, be it was really beautiful. My parents were very active, wonderful grandparents as well. So. What a blessing, and, and it's oh, so nice that so you nice. recognize that oh, as yeah. such a gift. Oh. What it's so beautiful yeah, beyond beyond. Um, you mentioned also that mementos keep popping up in your house. Oh gosh, yeah. And I, yeah. I love that you showed us the one of the, the women I like to sleep with. Anything else that has popped up recently? I would say that the most iconic uh, family heirloom that we have is a, a glasses case that my mother needle pointed for my dad. That is a replica of a Budweiser can. <laughs> So that kind of <laughs> says it all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh. So that that will get passed down, you know, to the ages. Um, <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Uh, speaking of ages and things enduring, what is it about their love story that is so enduring? Um, I just think that with you know, someone someone said that in Hollywood, if you can make it through the first year and the first infidelity, that you are probably. Um, well, I don't know that you're probably going to be okay, but it's something. You should get <laughs> an award. And, you know, so it wasn't easy. It was complicated. I think my mother knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that my father worshipped her as an actor, or was mm -hmm. fascinated with her as a woman, until, you know, really the last day, I think that all they really wanted in the room was each other. They were just, they were like two people on an island. And uh, there's a kiss in the book that I, I he's, he's, they're smooching each other. And when I see that smooch, I see them with, with gray hair. Uh, sitting in their kitchen over the you know the breakfast table with the coffee and it's the same kiss you know so. you're gonna make me cry I know it's really it, 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 yeah I'll make myself cry I mean it, it, you really um, they had a really beautiful complicated passionate yeah relationship and I think that's reflected in the book I I feel like it's really it really immerses you um, in their relationship people come after they read the book and they say I really feel like I was in it wow yeah how Beautiful. What a beautiful thing to share. What a beautiful gift Thank to get you. someone this holiday season. Seriously. Thank you. I, I personally think so. I would. I absolutely do. Thank you yeah. so much for being here. Yeah, it has been a you. pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing your parents with the world. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So y'all just Thanks. a reminder. Melissa is holding an author event tonight. Thursday, November 30th at 7 p.m. at the Elliott Bay Book Company on Seattle's Capitol Hill. You know you want to be there for that. <laughs> Thank you.